Hey guys, RC Detector here with Cutter Plug, and I am super excited because right behind me is a huge house. This has been here since the 1800s. There's a lot of ground to go over, and I'm pretty excited because I don't think this has been metal detected. So, the lady that lives here has been here for 60 years. And she said nobody's ever went over it. And I think a, a doctor used to live here, so there should be a lot of old coins and stuff, and I'll let you know what I find. Got my first good signal about six or seven inches down. It's a lower one, about 12, 38. Alright, just cut it out of the hole, and it looks like a 1909 Weedy. Just about six inches down, so I'll let you know what else I find. Just got my second good signal of the day. About six, eight inches. And it's reading uh, about 1239, 1240, so probably another weedy. All right, just got it out of the hole and it's actually an old copper ring. So, yeah. copper ring, really? yeah. An old one, so let you know if we find some more. Okay, guys, I got a really deep silver signal. It's reading like 46, 47, so I'll let you guys hear it here. It's showing eight inches. And boy, that's a high one. That's 47, 48, eight inches, so. I've been pulling those green wheat pennies at about seven, eight. So that could be a half or a quarter. I'm gonna pinpoint it here and then I'll do a live dig on it because I think that's a good one. dips in the ground. Mm. You can hear it. Dang it, I went to pull my camera off my mount and I hit the power button, but it's right there. I know it's silver. Just got that feeling. Let's see. Oh, it's a silver ring. Oh, damn. So, I thought that was a good coin. But, huh? it's a silver ring at about probably six, seven, about seven inches. So, oh, still a good find. So, I'll let you know if I find more. Alright, I got another uh, wheat penny signal, I believe. 1039, 1040, 7, 8 inches. There's a 41, but yeah, I think it's probably a witty. I'll let you know. Just got it out of the hole, and looks like another wheat penny. 1927, so I'll let you know if I find some silver. Alright, Dad just called me over, so it means he got silver before I did. Look at him smiling. <laughs> What'd you get? Barber. Really? Awesome. Looks like a 1905 Barber. Pretty cool. 16. Nice. Really? Where at? Right here? Alright, we'll let you know where we find anything else. Just got another good signal. It's pretty good one way, kind of iffy the other, so... About a 1542, 1242. And then I turn this way, it gets kind of choppy. So, I'll let you know what it is. 
All right, guys, got it out of the hole. Not sure what it is yet, but that's an old one. That looks like the heck is that? I just saw a date on it. It's a barber. It's just had it upside down. Looks like a 1899 barber dime. That's good. I finally got on on board with silver, so hopefully we can get some more. Just got that barber out of the hole. And I'm still getting a signal in there. It's iron. I'm going to dig it out just to let you know what was in there see how close it was, but definitely heard that coin in there. That's wide open. It's showing a 35 on the FE, so that's definitely trash. Alright, so got it out of the hole. And it was not a rusty nail, just probably, I'd say four inches from it. So that's why it was good one way and then kind of iffy. The other, it was pretty good the other, definitely good enough to, to dig it, so. All right, let you know if I find any more silver. Okay, I got my sensitivity cranked up to 28, and got another really good signal here, but it is deep. It's showing like 10 inches on the meter, so. Let's read about 1242, 1243, 1245. It's jumping around, but. It's got a high squeak to it, and there's a 1246, so I think it could be silver, so I'm going to live dig it for you. Okay. I'm gonna have to check my hole again. Wow, that's crazy, it's in the plug. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I thought it was deeper than that. Could just be on edge or something. Jesus. There it is. And it is another silver. So get my camera here. You can see the edge of it, it's silver. Looks like another barber. Or... Yeah, it's another barber. 1904. Good deal. I'll let you know if I find some more. Alright, I got a 12. 32, 1233, and it's not a signal I'd usually be excited about, but that's eight inches. And I just pulled a couple barbers, so never know. It could be a gold coin. 1889. So that's good. Maybe I can pull some seated out of here if I'm getting down in those years. So I'll let you know if I find anything else. Alright guys, didn't expect this one because it was just an inch under the surface, but looks like a rosy. It's a 1954. Make sure I don't have anything else in there.
think that's it. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Okay guys, I'm under a little bush here and I got a kind of a weird signal. I went over it and it was reading iron, but I just had that feeling. Actually, I left it, went detected for like 10 more minutes and then came back here. Sure enough, there was a wheat penny that I pulled first and then I got this huge nail and then I got a silver there. I don't even know what it is yet, but this wheatie's green. The weedy is 19, it looks like 52. Let me look at it here. Yeah, I think that weedy's 52, so this is probably another rosy. Yep. That one's weird. It's all black looking. So, I think it is a, a 1952 as well. So, I'll let you know if I find anything else. Okay, guys, don't know if you can see that or not, but just pulled another silver. That looks like a Merc to me. Yeah. And that was literally an inch under the soil. 1917 Merc. Let you know if I find anything else. Okay, got my finds cleaned up, and looks like I got a 54 Rosie, 1958 Rosie, a 1917 Merc, 1904 Barber, and 1899 Barber that's really beat up. And then I got an 1889 Indian Head, and at the top right there is a Seagram's token. It says 80 years of leadership since 1857, so. That token's from 1937. It's kind of cool. I've drank a lot of Seagrams, but I didn't know they were in business for that long. So, got a 1947 nickel, a sterling ring, an old copper ring, and then four wheat pennies. I thought I would pull maybe a quarter or half dollar out of there, but I just didn't get it today. And it was, it was pretty good ground. I mean, there wasn't a lot of trash or anything. I think it had been gone over before, um, but these are, this could have been stuff they just missed, or maybe people just didn't drop that much back in the day. So, appreciate you watching the video, and be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't.